Let's talk about type one and type two errors. So first a type one error. This is when the null hypothesis is true, but we reject it. Now the probability of making a type one error is alpha. So if our alpha is 0.05, the probability of making a type one error would be 5%. Now a type two error is the opposite. It's when the null hypothesis is not true, but we fail to reject it. So in a case where we should be rejecting the null hypothesis, we fail to reject it, and that's when we have a type two error. Now the probability of making this type of error is beta. Now here's just a table to show when type one errors happen, when type two errors happen in relation to the correct outcomes that we should have. So if we look at the cases where your null hypothesis is true, the correct outcome would be not rejecting the null. But if we were to reject it, that would be our type one error. When the null hypothesis is false, the correct outcome would be to reject it. But if we do not reject it, that is called a type two error.